All right, guys, welcome to the Camp Chef Kitchen here at Casa de Fishful. We're on the deck and we're doing some cooking. We've got a great new tool. We've got the Artisan Pizza Oven. It's sitting on the Pro 90X stove. You've seen that before with us. Well, this pizza oven's a brand new thing for me. It's got a ceramic, big giant ceramic block in here, and it's sitting on 60,000 BTUs. So it's now cranking at uh, 750 degrees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a macadamia nut crusted walleye filet. It's gonna be really simple. It's gonna cook really fast, obviously, in that temperature. So what we've got right here is a walleye filet. You gotta start with a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of kosher salt on here. It's actually pink Himalayan sea salt, but it is certified kosher and a little bit of black pepper as well. You gotta have a little base seasoning. We're gonna start off with just a little bit of olive oil on top as well. This is uh, macadamia nuts that I put in a food processor and I pulsed them with some fresh oregano and some fresh parsley and some lemon zest and some lemon juice and a little bit of garlic. And that's formed into basically a paste right here. And we're gonna put some of it on top. And now I'm gonna use my fingers for it because it's kind of sticky and pasty and I want a good even coat. And I don't want a lot of it in the pan. It'll just burn once it's in the pan. Now, if I look at this, it's 750 plus degrees at this point, which is very hot. The reason that's important is it's gonna put a crust on the top of this that I feel like is a critical part of the dish. If you put it in your regular oven in the house under the broiler or something like that, it's gonna smoke and burn and be all nasty. Here we're outside, it's not relevant if it does that. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in this Camp Chef oven and it won't take but just a couple of minutes. Oh buddy, look at it already guys. It's been in there for three minutes and already look, it's getting some fantastic color on it. We're gonna stick it back in there another couple of minutes. Okay guys, five total minutes, we're taking it out. It's done. You can see it's got excellent color on the top of it. I got just a little bit of browning on all the macadamia nuts and I'm just gonna let it sit in the pan. We'll let it sit over here on the side and let it sit in the pan. A Little bit of lemon juice just to make it kind of pop here right at the end, give it a little bit of tang to it. It's such a unique tool, uh, something like a ribeye steak. You know, brush it with clarified butter, a little salt, little pepper, throw it in there, same concept, fantastic. Um, you know, a piece of seared tuna or something like that, really good way to go about it. Any sort of open fish sandwich you could grill in there in a hurry. And of course, we don't even need to talk about the pizza itself. Really unique tool, a lot different than most things you see. Um, it's certainly not something you can duplicate in your kitchen without a really expensive range hood and things like that. And this would go good with a variety of vegetables, uh, asparagus, oh, it definitely cooked. You can see the fish trying to come apart right there. And we'd wanna sprinkle all the goodness right on top right there. So simple, guys, so simple. Mmm, so good. But having the extreme heat, you get the nice crust on top. If you do that in an oven, that's gonna be much softer. It doesn't have the textural component that it has right here. Definitely got some lemon from the, from the lemon zest and the lemon juice that's on there. And the macadamia nuts crusted up really, really nice on top. That is a really, really good dish, guys. Check out all the Camp Chef stuff. Go to their website, go to Sportsman's Warehouse, check out all the Camp Chef stuff. If you want the recipe, go to our website. And of course, uh, check out all of our social media at Fishful Thinker across the board. We'd appreciate that. Most importantly, we hope you'll tune in and we'll see you next week.